then we don't break them. Crack baby, back street baby. Born in the nineties, but I'm trapping like the eighties. Hey, D street raising, I was thinking they pay me. Two for fifteen is all we got. The trap going crazy. I'm a crack baby, back street baby. Born in the nineties, but I'm trapping like. Like, 
This summer will be a year. I've been rapping for a year. I just started rapping three months ago. Three months ago. Yeah. <laughs> I've been rapping for some years. I don't know. I've probably been rapping since like fourth grade or something, fifth grade. Yeah, me too. I've right. been rapping since I was, right. I was what, probably like 13, but I ain't never take that shit serious because I was like, shit, if it ain't gonna take me nowhere, what's the point of, what's the point of doing this shit? Say something, he like, hey, you need to start writing that, baby. You could. I'm like, no, I ain't gonna be no rapper. I can't rap, but then I put something together. I made a hit. We made a hit together. Hello, gang. All right, man, that song, the song you mentioned, it's called Backstreet Baby. Yeah. Yeah, that song is called Backstreet Baby. Yeah. So, you said you just put something together? Yeah, Backstreet Baby. I was just, just sitting in the, like, in the studio.
everybody in the city, they know her. So when they see her, they know like, oh, look at look at Lisa. Look at Lisa, la, la, la. That's how she really act. Like, they crazy for putting her in there. <laughs> I'm like, hello, can I help you? This lady, come on, give me that. Any lightweight, all of it. Nephew! Come here, ask your I ain't fucking with you right now. I ain't right, it's like that. It's like that. Okay. Like that. Okay, dirty mother. That's why you missed me. That's my favorite part too. Too. Yeah. 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 Everybody tell me like it's a storyline to it, bro. They they really like cause a lot of people don't do a storyline no more. They just rap. They just make it rhyme, make it sound good. That was really a classic. Yeah. Shout out KG Films, man. Free KG. Yeah. Shout out KG, yeah. man. Yeah. Yeah. KG do all our videos, man. man. Nigga, stop it. That ain't nothing. You a kid. Hey. OG told me, get a roller. If you gon' do it, then do it big. Hey. Serving fiends, chasing dreams in between. Gotta get it how I live. What? Dirty coppers, they can't stop us. Two, three pistols and a chopper in the crib. What? When you shopping, what you copping? Nigga, stop it. That ain't nothing. You a kid. Hey. OG told me, get a roller. If you gon' do it, then do it big. Hey. Serving fiends. Nah, that man's too. I say, yeah, uh, man, yeah. Juvie right here. He got, he got, he got a lot, man. He got a song, he got a song called Luck that's yeah. taking off. That's right up after that. That's right yeah. after that Backstreet, baby. Yeah. That got this bitch locked. I'm gonna shoot a video on that. 26K on something right now. 26K. At least shoot the video. That's going to explode. He, he, he just got out, too. So if he would have been out, the, the song would have been took off. Yeah. We was performing. We, we was playing it at our, at our shows and at our parties. They ain't even had no face to it. They ain't know who it was. Different, like 
a lot of people don't fuck with the North, and we trying to make it trying to, so, so where they can fuck with the North for real. Yeah, but a lot of motherfuckers fuck with the North. Yeah. They just be there's scared to come up. There's some positive, there's some positive on the North. There's people trying to do some positive on the North. It ain't all fucking. Yeah, it ain't all fucking. But there's some fuck with them shit going on around the way. Shit, yeah, man, with all that suck ass, yeah. making diss track ass, pussy ass shit. Like on the North, and it's crazy, like, it's a lot of, like, police harassment and shit on the yeah, North yeah, side, we, you know what I'm yeah. saying? People get killed every day, little kids getting killed, little kids yeah, doing young, killing, like, young, you know what I'm sure. saying? Man. It's, it's a lot of it's a lot of crazy shit going on, like, but it's going on everywhere. But to leave, it's a, kids, we in a smaller right. city, but and then we we, we 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 been getting harassed crazy. People think we playing, but it's it's, it's serious. Yeah, we get harassed. I get stopped by the police a lot. Make a more positive image for, for these kids and shit. These kids, the one that's out here killing motherfuckers, doing all this, all this fraud shit. Just, you know what I'm saying? Make a better image for them. Make some. You ain't gotta always make some guns and all that shit. Make some shit where you at. You at the beach or chilling or doing some, some something that look fun. That make them want to do something that look fun instead of going and want to kill a motherfucker or do some dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times, a lot of people be bored for real. So if it was more for people to do. It'd be less violence over here, but if they bored, they just out here doing all type of random dumb shit. That's so, why everybody need to come together. Like everybody in the city that's rapping need to come together. You feel me? Like if it's whether it's come doing shows together, or doing music together, you feel me? Showing that everybody not like that. It's some more to the, to the city than the bullshit that's going on. Like I said, you got a lot of niggas still caught up in they sucker ass ways, and we trying to we trying to show we. Jobs though, jobs are more activities for the youth, for real, for real. Yeah. That, that, that'll stop a lot of violence. You keep the youth, you get more time off their hands, more violence off the streets. Yeah. The more time you they got on their hands. You mentioned you were a uh, shot, right? Yeah, basically, exactly like that. More time on my hands. I was just out hanging around, doing what I was not supposed to be doing for real, because I played football. Feel me? Star. Uh, star, star, real like, star. I played at St. Francis. I started running back since my freshman year. I was an upcoming running back. I was just out chilling, like doing whatever. Drive by, got hit. And out of all four people, I ended up being the one that they said I had a 5% chance to make it almost. But I made it, I pulled through, but I just couldn't play football no more. I was stuck. Like, that shit was serious. I was only 16. I was only 16 in there fighting for my life. For what? I didn't even know. I got shot. Right here. Yeah. Time on my hands. Yeah. So I said this is some more. It's it's more to the city than that bullshit. We just gotta try to show everybody it is. Cause all that hating and making dishes and all that shit, that shit ain't gonna get nobody nowhere. Motherfuckers need to just try to come together and make Toledo look bigger than what it is. Toledo on his way though. I, I Toledo on his way for real. I I putting on. Hell he money yeah. putting on. Hell yeah. A lot of people putting on for the city to see. Yeah, he bunny coming. gonna knock he that bunny. nigga out on the 30th. <laughs> he bunny got a fight coming up on the 30th. He put on for the city real big. That's gonna be huge, June 30th. And that's that's something positive. You know what I'm saying? Kids look up to him. So that's something positive. We hope to do the same. So what's the state of Ohio hip hop? I feel like I feel like we get overlooked. Ohio get overlooked. Period. We got we got yeah. Detroit. We got Detroit above us. We got the East. It's a lot of it's a lot of talent. It's a lot of, a lot talent. of talent. It's some some talent in Cincinnati. It's some talent everywhere. We just, we just yeah. gotta yeah. come together. Uh, yeah. If I think if we all came together as Ohio, Ohio gets everybody. Like Detroit did. Detroit versus everybody. Ohio gets everybody, and we did something. I think that'd be nice. I think. There's talent everywhere, huge talent. We a huge talent. We a huge talent, we a huge talent, you get some huge shit. Hell so, yeah. so, what's Toledo sound versus the rest of Ohio? Uh, we got like our own sound for real. We got like a trap sound. We, yeah, yeah, we be on some. I, th- I think it's, it's a real melting pot. You know what I'm saying? You, you It's, it's you a lot a of flavors in Toledo. Yeah, you get a little bit. Yeah, 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 it's some flavors. With us, Polo 
gang you want to know about Toledo or us as Polo gang? Because I think we got a different style. We got our own style. We got like our own yeah. style. I feel like soon, like you know how you search on YouTube, such and such type beat. I feel like soon it's yeah. going to be Polo gang type beat because we got like our own type of sound. It's some, it's like some trap, some trap shit. Like we, That's we from the north side, so shit. everybody, we grew up listening to Boosie and Gucci oh, and, and Gotti and, and, yeah, and yeah, shit like that. So we cash money, oh, yeah, yeah, shit like that. Yeah. So That's we, my idol right there, juvenile. You know okay. okay, let's go into that. Like, okay, you just said juvenile is your idol. Who, who, who's your, who, who's your idol? Who's your idol? When I grew up listening to Boosie, I even used to have a Boosie bag and everything. <laughs> I used to have motherfuckers. I felt like that was a real pussy out here. Hey, really? See me, I, me, it was really stink bomb for real. It stink bomb and uh, in the hot boys. Yeah, stink bomb was hey. a, stink bomb was a big rapper in the city. He, he still is. He, he was saying some hot shit. Had me on some pussy shit at the same time. It was, it was Wayne for me. Draw, draw three, Wayne. Right? Wayne draw too. three, Wayne. You feel me? That, that old Wayne. And Pimp C. Yeah. I like a lot yeah. of old shit. That's what I was saying, UGK and that type shit. Man. But now look, That's now, now listen to all R&B music. You would catch me riding around R&B. I don't, <laughs> I don't, <laughs> the rap two character, now listen to R&B now. For those who don't know, uh, y'all mentioned Stink Bomb. How about y'all, uh, you know, speaking of who Stink Bomb is, isn't you say he was you know, one of y'all musical influences. Who is Stink Bomb for the people out there that don't know who that shit. is? Really, really Stink Bomb? He really like an older, older homie. I say he, he paid the way for a lot of local artists. He paid the way for a lot of local artists. I say I, I kind of grew up off listening to some stink bomb shit too, cause he had, he had some shit. He had some shit. Then like, he, he dropped the mixtape a few summers ago that really went the bomb or whoever. Yeah, yeah. bomb or whoever. It went. She had some hits on there. He was opening yeah. for Yo Gotti and whoever and Rich Homie, whoever, whoever came to the city. Yeah. That really showed people who was rapping like, they hey, if you really. Shit. Yeah. You feel me? You could do the same thing. I remember when this was the Stink Bomb back, back hey, when I said in the projects. Man, when, when my you know, Stink From the same projects where I, I, you know, I grew up at. You know? like, Stink, Stink, Stink was the first, the Stink was the first local yeah. artist for real that, that came to my attention like, oh, this somebody local. You feel me? I, I remember when MySpace and everybody had pages and music. and It, it was bomb. You feel me? I'm finna take a trip. Yeah. It was bomb. You feel me? That's the first local bomb. artist. Yeah, he went on mine too. I, yeah. I fuck with Bomb. <laughs> Listen to his mixtape from my old phone. Yeah. I probably don't remember. No, I'm, I'm hip. I, I grew up over there, so I listen. I, I'm hip already. What's next for Polo Gang? Polo Gang, what's next for Polo Gang? Next for Polo Gang? We just trying to stay consistent. We doing. We just trying to do bigger and better shit, more shows. More we, everything. We doing out of town shows. You know what I'm saying? More shows, out of town. More videos. More, more music, videos. More exposure. More, more money. We're working on a movie right now. You know what I'm saying? Radio out of town. We got a movie called My Shooter coming out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's a nice movie. Me and, me and him, we, we two main, we two main characters. My dude Nook, he another main character. You know what I'm saying? What's it's about? Man, it's it's about like me, me and Nook. We two, we like we we like two uh two known hustlers in the hood. You know what I'm saying? I'm a hot head. He like a little older cat. We bump in, we bump heads over a girl. You know what I'm saying? So we we get into it at a strip club. So shit, I end up we getting a little scuff or whatever. I end up sending my shooters to him or whatever. He shoot, he killed one of my shooters or whatever. Now they our shooters going back and back and forth. It's a lot of action. It's a lot of man. It's, some, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's an action oh, film like, movie. It's, it's, like, it's nice though. You and it's based me? around like where we from. It's based so around be, Toledo. It's shot in Toledo, Ohio. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? It's gonna show like how how people people get a feel of Detroit when they watch 211 and all the movies like that they're gonna get a feel of Toledo but it's gonna it's gonna have some comedy in it too it ain't gonna yeah. be all it ain't gonna you know be all saying? just shooting it's gonna be then some Toledo humor we and gonna, it's all gonna be like Toledo music like the whole score in the background music gonna be like yeah. it ain't even gonna be all art music it's gonna, it's gonna be Toledo, Toledo artists, music a lot of Toledo all, artists you know gonna put Toledo the city production you know what I'm saying what can uh, people expect that we drop uh, we about to start shooting it uh, like in the next week next two weeks it ain't gonna it ain't gonna take that long. So within the next next few like months, probably in the in the fall or something. Early fall. You know what I'm saying? Next few months. Before the winter though. Uh, so so y'all also so would you also consider yourself actors as well? Uh, yeah. hell no. 
Uh, <laughs> I'm an actress. I was uh, doing yeah, a lot of acting. Actor, I was, Monica. yeah, actor, actor, yeah. Yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm tripping. <laughs> yeah, I'm tripping. Yeah, I'm, He's I'm open actor, and going, yeah. going on to acting, you know what I'm saying? I always want to be, I always want to act, you know what I'm saying? Hell yeah, I act, yeah. Before I started rapping, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was making, like, small little skits with Nook. Like, that's how I was around the rapping before so I started got, rapping. Like, I was always around. Like, Stink Bomb and them, they're making small skits to movies. We made a, we made a small skit to Boys in the Hood. Yeah, and we had some friends like, uh, Paulie and G. They made funny little movies. Like, them went, them, them was real popular on Facebook and YouTube. They made a movie called Saturday. It was like a, like, like Friday, a parody. Friday, a parody of Friday. It was real funny. It was, they made a movie about bacon. That shit even was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, them niggas, man. They, still them, everything, everything they did with comedy, was, yeah. everything they touched with was gold. Yeah, though. We got a lot of humor in the hood. It's a lot of, it's a, it's a lot of a lot in the neighborhood. A lot of athletic people, a lot of funny people. It's a lot of people who can hustle. It's a lot of people who can do a lot. Yeah, I say we all open to act, acting, though. Snatch you out the car. What's up, Mr. Kane? What you got on you today? Backstreet baby, this and that. They pull up the video on their phone. All type of shit snatch you up. How much money you got in your pocket? Oh, trapping like the eight time. This is all type they of shit. They wanna say something. Just like, say something fried. You feel me? They, tell, they done told us before, like, oh I hope you live. Hope you make it through the summer, cuz. Yeah, to make it through the summer, like we give a fuck. All type of shit like this. Like crazy. you want me to die, like you you Maybe I don't know what's going on. I don't even I'm chilling. I don't even <laughs> I'm yeah, just rapping, you know what I'm saying? You this ass, I'll be calling it the mud. We trying to get out of here. We ain't, you know what I'm saying? Lord, fuck the phone. Hey, I just watched just that Tupac to, movie. I be feeling like to Tupac out sometimes after just I watch that. As a, Tupac was just walking across the street. Got you know stopped on some bullshit. I feel like that same thing happened to me. Got stopped on some bullshit. They just talking all about this backstreet baby shit. You feel me? And I'm, I just asked them, like, that's what y'all got from that video? Because... I got a hundred little kids when I walk down the street, they run up rapping that. Like they look up to me that they don't look at it like that. They look at me as like a, a icon or yeah. something like that in the neighborhood. Like I don't say nothing, I don't say nothing negative to the kids. The kids look up to me, I sign autographs and all of that. The police just, I don't know. They take an image and make an image. But I think what it really is like We've been on the radio too, though. But even yeah, though we, we don't listen to the radio, they listen to the radio. They hear that shit. They don't like that shit here in Backstreet. All baby. our shit, the all club. our streets, and all that. They might, they think the song is like gang related, but it's not. We just they think the song is we just gang speaking related, about. But I got some people on the south side that are from, really slow. You know some it people ain't, on the east side that turn it all the way the whole up. City, you feel the me? whole city listen to it. People outside the city, people around Everywhere. the whole country listen to the listen to this song. Not even just the Toledo song. Y'all pretty young. So y'all say do what you do what makes you happy and live your dream do what you gotta do cuz you by yourself at the end of the night worrying about what another motherfucker care about you ain't gonna put no money in your pocket or get you nowhere me I said like he said know. live your dream me I gave up on my dream I thought it was over don't ever give up on that thing. I thought me I thought it was just over I just gave up on everything but I had to snap back I came back to life don't give up on your dreams because something could come. You don't even got to. If something, if plan A don't work out, plan B going to always come around. You feel me? You just got to stay active because sitting on your ass, you ain't going to find nothing. Me is it. Me is just stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Like, no matter how much support you got, you know what I mean? You got to believe in yourself. You know what I mean? Before anybody else believe in you. You know what I mean? People, confidence, people can smell that. For real. Bro, y'all talk about Toledo being the mud. Tell me what resources does Toledo need. to the 
Central Catholics or the St. John's or the St. Francis, they just can't afford it or they, they too stuck in their street, you feel me? But they, they really playing football or basketball, they really got, you feel me? And we got talent, man, period. In, in all aspects, we need exposure. We need a light, a light shine in our city. You know what I mean? That's what we trying to do. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to try to put a big light on the city. Period. Everywhere. better and better every year for real and i really i really want to go somewhere with this music shit for real yeah. but i really just want to get better and better and shit run my bands up yeah. independent with a lot of money i'm, a, I'm just i'm gonna just focus on i'm trying to focus on like promotion and marketing for real that's what a lot of people don't do from our city they just make the songs you know what i'm saying they don't know about putting that shit out or how to put it out or you know what i'm saying that's, that's, what, I about to that's say. what i really been focusing on since we came out was like Like they 
music was next. So they had to hit him with another. 